Welcome to the Ideal Investor Show. This is the podcast where we help you challenge your mindset and discover where you are. Tired of stories about other people's success? We can help you change your life, determine your time freedom point and join us on the journey to financial success. Let's go. Hey, everybody. I hope you're doing well. You're enjoying the summer today. We have a relatively short episode, but I wanted to bring you this information to your attention because I'm suspecting that probably in the month of September we will hear some news. You guys will hear some news. I will hear some news. And the news will be about home prices or real estate prices in general. And I, as you know, have consistently been asked by the John Burns uh, organization. It's a research company that spe uh, specializes in research in real estate, especially residential real estate. And so I uh, regularly participate in their surveys. So basically contributing to the data set that they're using to find out how are investors and the properties that investors own perform so that they can run statistical analysis about it. And out of that research, in one of the more recent uh, reports that they published, and obviously as a participant in the research, I get the reports. And if somebody ever listening to me here on the show is interested to get any of those reports, let me know, because there is what's called a public version and then an internal version. The public version doesn't have all the information, but a lot of the main information. And then also John Burns organization is also publishing like blog posts and articles and stuff like that. And so the one that I'm referring to is looking at how have prices for homes developed across the country. And right now, you may have seen that there is in the media some notion that real estate prices are coming down. And what I have learned in the last few years in the media is that we have gone away from reporting news or reporting facts to giving out information in support of an opinion. Or, which I think is even worse, is voicing an opinion that doesn't even need to be the opinion of the author of an article or any kind of news piece or video on, in, on TV, in the financial news. So it's an opinion. And then they basically try to support the opinion with what they call evidence. And the problem with that is that if you compare their evidence with what people and organizations like John Burns do, it is not real true evidence. So if the opinion is that you want the public to know, know or believe that home prices have come down, then you write an article that says, home prices are collapsing. And then you bring the evidence that there are lo multiple locations, especially in Florida, where home prices are collapsing. And then you use research, maybe even John's research, to show that some locations in Florida have lost in, in average price or median price by 2, 3 and 4%. And then maybe you also find a few locations in Alabama and, and one or two other places. And if you are, on the other hand, somebody who wants to write an article about affordability of homes is running away, less and less people will be able to afford a home because that's your opinion. That's the message you want to get across and where you basically want to say, hey, guys, you all have to rent because buying a home is going to be impossible in the future. Then again, you could go to John's research and say, well, and the evidence that I'm giving you is you just need to look at San Diego, Los Angeles, and San Francisco Bay Area, especially San Jose, and you can clearly see affordability is in the dumpster. Now, what does the research itself actually say? The research says that certain locations are increasing still today, and this is data from July 2024, still today are increasing compared year over year. And a few locations, much fewer locations, are decreasing in price. The average for the year so far since July 2023 to July 2024 is that prices on average have increased by 3%. But everybody who knows anything about re real estate and has ever heard anything about real estate knows that it is very location specific. So like I said, 
Los Angeles area, San Diego area, San Jose area, San Francisco area, not all of it, but several places in the Bay Area in San Francisco, they all have increased year over year in the last 12 months by 8% in price. Now, if you go on the other hand and say, okay, I want to support the other argument, John's research shows that places like Austin, Texas, Fort Myers, Florida, Orlando, Florida, and another few other Florida locations have gone down by 3.5%. And the average is not the middle of the two numbers. The average is you take a large number of um, locations and you take them all together and look what is the average. And that average is 3% up. San Diego, Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Jose, and so forth is up 8%, which is more than double the average. And then some places like Austin and Fort Myers and uh, Cape Coral and Orlando and so forth is down 3.5%, which is slightly less than the average. What is the message here? I want you to be very careful when you see something in the media that is not supported with the original research, where you really see what the actual research says, because you can almost bet nowadays that somebody, either the paper or the TV station or the author or somebody is trying to push for you to believe that their opinion is correct. And then they cherry pick the information that supports that opinion. And as you can see, somebody that writes an article to say home prices are collapsing and picks those examples of Austin, Texas and, and parts of Florida, would make it sound like, yeah, they're not just saying it, they have evidence. Well, what they left out is the national average and examples of places where it's going up. But you might be thinking, well, real estate is going down the toilet. So that's my message for today's episode. I know it's a little shorter than normal, but I wanted to get for you across not only what the data, what the actual research says, that prices have still been going up 3% in the last 12 months, which a lot of people would be surprised about, but also to be careful where you get your information and don't fall for people who just want to push you to adopt their opinion. So that's it for today. Be well and stay safe. And I would love to see that you rate the show, download the show and give it a review or a comment because that really, really helps us to get the show to people and get more recognition. That would be great. And bye until tomorrow.